Hello and welcome in our demonstration of TestWell CTC++ test coverage analyzer from VerifySoft. TestWell CTC++ test coverage analyzer for C, C++, C Sharp and Java is a powerful and easy to use code test coverage tool, which shows the parts of the code which has been executed and then tested. TestWell CTC++ can be used on host for native projects. Please refer to our other video describing our integration within the Microsoft Visual Studio IDE for more information. If you look for an efficient and easy to use solution for your IT projects, TestWell CTC++ is your base choice. But today, we will see how it can be used for measuring code coverage in embedded targets and microcontrollers. Its main benefits are very low instrumentation overhead, performs code coverage in all targets, it works even with small targets and microcontrollers and works with all compilers and cross compilers. We'll see how your code can be instrumented for analyzing its test coverage from within an IDE such as CS Plus from Renesas. So, as a new process uh, to put in place in this case consists of just take uh, the regular C and uh, either files uh, in order to compile and link. But here in the process, we have the instrumentation phase, and this is done automatically by uh, the in integration within the IDE. All gray blue parts so, uh, are used by uh, our integration to generate the simul file. And what you just saw, it's uh, to generate a data file from the target uh, in order to produce uh, the, the report. Today, I will uh, show you how uh, to uh, use uh, TestWell CTC++ uh, within the uh, Renesas uh, CS++ uh, uh, CubeSuite uh, um, IDE uh, for designing and developing uh, the uh, 78KO uh, microprocessor uh, architecture. Uh, so the, the, the goal of this uh, presentation is to help you to uh, set up uh, the IDE to use the TestWell CTC++ uh, within uh, your current uh, tool chain. Uh, we, we assume for this that you already have a TestWell CTC++ uh, and uh, the OTA and BitCov uh, add-ons uh, already uh, installed and uh, that uh, you do have a license for using uh, those tools. So the next step is to put on top of those uh, CTC++ uh, plus plus, uh, BitCov uh, installation uh, the Renesas uh, add-on for uh, the architecture and uh, for this we need to download uh, this uh, add-on so once this is uh, done uh, you will have to um, unzip the uh, uh, file you just uh, downloaded in order to install uh, the, the software so this is what we are going to do uh, right uh, now. So uh, now let's run the installation. And then we will have a look to the documentation which is uh, provided and in which you can see that uh, this add-on can be used in, in two ways basically. The first one uh, using the, the compiler and link linker within uh, a command line uh, under Windows, for instance, or from within the IDE. And uh, for this, uh, we create uh, in this demonstration uh, several menus uh, used uh, to uh, execute uh, scripts that uh, are provided uh, to uh, put uh, CTC++ on or off, uh, clean the generated files, and generate finally uh, the uh, coverage report uh, out of the IDE and uh, we'll see the complete uh, process for doing so. Next step uh, then uh, will be uh, to uh, run uh, this uh, IDE with uh, an example which is provided by Renesas, uh, which is called a tutorial basic operation. So it's a, a fully working example for this uh, architecture we just added within this uh, folder uh, four scripts uh, to uh, have the integration uh, uh, within the IDE for setting on and off uh, CTC, cleaning the files and generating uh, uh, the reports. So 
let's open the uh, the ID with this uh, example and have a look uh, the, the way we added those scripts within uh, the menu so uh, the features of, of this tool are, are okay because we can easily uh, set up external tools uh, within the menus in uh, in a few clicks only so it's a very uh, a straightforward to uh, set up test well ctc plus uh, plus within this uh, environment so you just need to fill both the uh, uh, information here for instance uh, you may want uh, to uh, access to the script we just uh, uh, created uh, within uh, this uh, folder so for instance we can have a look to uh, this script uh, within uh, uh, an editor so ctc on uh, is basically use a ct wrap uh, hard mode uh, option so this script uh, is just setting uh, the uh, wrap option for ctc plus plus with the multi-condition uh, coverage level and here we are just um, setting the uh, path and uh, the um, compiler name uh, to uh, provide uh, ctc wrap uh, setup the same about the same for ctc off where we are using mod off instead of model uh, obviously uh, the third script that we'll use uh, to clean the files it's uh, it's really uh, simple because uh, ctc plus plus is generating uh, mod dot something uh, files mod dot ox and sim by, by default and then later on other files when dumping uh, the CTC array global variable uh, to, to the disk. And last script is a two steps uh, script where we take the uh, file generated by uh, the instrumented uh, binary execution and uh, creating a mod that uh, file for data file where all computers are stored and compared to the mod.sim file which has been generated during analysis uh, we just finished by using the mcdc uh, coverage level and producing a html report so all those four scripts are now available uh, within uh, the menus of the uh, uh, cs plus uh, id uh, so ctc on off report generator and cleanup so let's start by cleaning up the previous uh, demonstration so i want to delete all generated files by uh, ctc so this is where i'm using this uh, this menu okay so as you can see mod.aux uh, and mod.sim files have been uh, deleted uh, then we can uh, choose uh, to uh, put ctc on or off so i will use uh, ctc on and uh, I have previously tested that my example was working fine and all setup was uh, okay. So now I, uh, I have decided to check uh, if I can uh, generate coverage uh, data from uh, the ID on, uh, on this project. So the process is exactly uh, the same. Now you can build uh, your project. And the main difference is that, as you can see in the, the report uh, window, is that you will get uh, instrumented files and uh, you will be able to uh, uh, to execute instrumented uh, uh, code so before that i need to clean the project obviously to uh, build uh, the project so you will see several uh, uh, messages and mod.sim and mod.ax files which have been uh, uh, generated again uh, at the current time so they will be available so now i'm sure that uh, instrumentation has been done uh, over the, the project so no now i do have um, a file that could be uh, uh, executed i have a binary file that could be executed so the next step is to download the program to the debug tool after build this is exactly what i want to do and before that i need to be sure that the debug tool used is a simulator because i don't have any uh, a board any card where i can uh, download and flash my binary so i'm using the simulator here uh, for this uh, demonstration uh, uh, today so now let's download and uh, run uh, the uh, uh, code uh, within a simulator and uh, get some uh, coverage data out of it so 
I can simply e e execute the program. Okay. Uh, normally, you should have to uh, make some unit or integration testing, change values, and make uh, any kind of test you want uh, to, to get coverage data. Here, uh, the program is very simple. I'm just doing uh, a first uh, execution, and then I'm exiting from this uh, uh, execution. And uh, what I need to do now is uh, to dump the content of the CTC uh, array uh, variable down to, to the disk. Uh, this is fully documented uh, within uh, uh, the readme.txt uh, file we just saw and uh, for this you need to uh, run a debug upload a command and then to output uh, the uh, content uh, for this uh, CTC array uh, variable and uh, the, the addresses are um, something that you can read out of a, a report which is generated by the Renaissance uh, toolset. So I need to edit this uh, uh, this file in order to uh, to learn where is CTC++ uh, global variable called CTC array. So this is the address. So I will copy uh, this, uh, this address. So now that I know uh, the address of this uh, CTC array global variable, I need to upload this. So I need to run again and the uh, simulator execute. And then I have access to the upload uh, uh, menu. So CTC array a global variable content is, is alive. So I'm able to uh, upload this to, to disk. So I need to provide a file name. In my case, I will use mod.x uh, because I want to use the IntelX uh, format for uh, the, uh, the, the generative file, so IntelX. Then, uh, okay, you have several options, but recommend to use the IntelX uh, format. Then I need to um, select the starting uh, address so i have copied this information here so you need to use the right uh, syntax and then uh, remember that uh, the uh, length of this variable is five so i need to add five to this address so d e f zero one so i need to go to zero x zero two f b eight one and save this content to the disk okay so normally now if i go back to my folder i have mod.sim mod.ox and just created a mod.x uh, uh, file so if we have a look inside uh, this file it's interx uh, format okay so now I can simply uh, go back to uh, one of the menu um, with the script to generate uh, the report. And uh, this is uh, a two-step process which is uh, uh, autom automated. And once the files uh, are generated, it's calling the default internet browser, which is in my case, uh, Internet uh, uh, Explorer. And then you can uh, browse uh, the uh, uh, coverage uh, reports uh, as usual and uh, you have access to the full uh, uh, data on this uh, on this example so this is the end of our presentation and demonstration thank you for attending if you are interested in getting more details please visit our website verifysat.com where you can get all information about our products technical description brochures papers videos and many more material Feel free to ask us for a free evaluation. Goodbye and thank you.